The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is loaded with great guitar players who have filled radio playlists with infectious riffs that have entertained Americans for decades. Drummers, however, are usually only inducted as members of bands who've been inducted, and those drummers are primarily known for providing a backbeat behind the music. There is one drummer, though, whose playing has given some of the most memorable hit songs more than just a beat. They've helped shape the songs much the same way as a catchy guitar riff. For 50 years, Steve Gadd has been one of the most recruited session players in the music industry, whose playing has shaped some of the biggest hits by Rock and Roll Hall of Famers like Paul Simon on 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. And late in the evening, or Steely Dan's seminal jam, Asia. Or the street shuffle on Jim Croce's Working at the Car Wash Blues. Well, I had just got out. The list of people with whom Steve Gadd has recorded measures in the hundreds. He's appeared on nearly 800 album releases and served as a touring drummer for Hall of Famers Eric Clapton and James Taylor for decades. He's recorded with the aforementioned Hall of Famers Simon, Clapton, Taylor, and Steely Dan, as well as Hall of Famers Paul McCartney, Genesis, Frankie Valli, Bill Withers, B.B. King, Etta James, James Brown, Ray Charles, Peter Gabriel, Dr. John, the Bee Gees, and Ringo Starr, himself a drummer. If well over a dozen Hall of Famers wanted Steve Gadd on their records, why isn't Gadd himself in the hall? Is it simply because he's never been in a band like lesser drummers already enshrined simply because they got into a Hall of Fame band? The Rock Hall has done a poor job of forcing worthy musicians to wait, sometimes posthumously, to get into the Hall of Fame. At 75 years of age, it's time for the Rock Hall Nominating Committee to get Steve Gadd into the Hall of Fame. Wouldn't you agree?